Let me talk about the 1804 silver dollar, sometimes called the king of American coins. It's also, uh, can be called an imposter. That was said by Eric Newman and Ken Brissett when they wrote a book called The Fantastic 1804 Dollar. Therein lies a story. Go back to the year 1804, and at the Philadelphia Mint, they made about $19,001 coins. And the Mint report said, uh, we struck a, a 19,000 silver dollars. Okay, uh, coin collecting became popular a number of years later in America. And people looked at Mint reports and they said, uh, well, we are 18, 19,000, 1804 dollars, but I've never seen one. I've seen a 1794 and so forth. And no one had ever seen one. Uh, the reason is, is that because no 1804 dollars dated 1804 were ever made. In 1804, they had some dies earlier, like dated 1803, that they used. So there was no such thing as an 1804 dollar. Okay, but there was such a thing. How was there such a thing? And the story gets a bit complex, so you'll need to follow here. Uh, in 1834, the United States government sought to expand its presence in uh, the Far East, in uh, Indochina, in uh, uh, Muscat, Oman, uh, Zanzibar, different places on in the Indian Ocean and what we now call uh, Indonesia, uh, and uh, to expand its diplomatic influence and to become known. So they uh, uh, chartered a uh, battleship with an accompanying ship and went and called upon some of these distant ports giving diplomatic gifts. And dip one of the diplomatic gifts, in addition to maps and silver and crystal, uh, was a set of United States coins. And they wanted to, to make up a set showing one of each denomination that was made. So they uh, back in 1834, what are we making now? Well, we're making the half set, we're making this and this and this and this. Well, what about the two largest denominations, the $10 gold piece and the, uh, the silver dollar? Well, we haven't made any of those since 1804. Uh, well, can we, can, we, can we find 1804, an 1804 dollar, an $1804 $10 gold piece? Well, they couldn't. So they took some new dies and made an 1804 dollar die uh, with the 1804 date and also the $10 die and struck some new pieces and put them in the set and that showed the full panorama of American coinage and it was correct because the last ones made of those two denominations of 1804 they still didn't know that they, there was no such thing as a real 1804 dated dollar. Edmund Roberts from Portsmouth, New Hampshire sailed around the world, dropped some of these off as gifts including one with the, the uh, Sultan of Muscat. This particular set remained in the Sultan's family for many, many years, then was sold at London at auction, and then was consigned to us, this 1804 dollar, by the time it was part of the Walter Childs collection, in 1999, and uh, it, it's a perfect proof of it dated 1804, and brought over four million dollars, and as I say these words, it still holds the record for the most valuable silver coin ever auctioned. Okay, but there's more to the story than that. Uh, Collectors wanted $1,804, and they went to the Mint, and the Mint uh, was very friendly to the collectors and said, we'd like to get an eight, buy an 1804. So the Mint decided to make some more, and they would strike them and then trade them to collectors. And, and <clears throat> then rumors spread that there was no such thing as an $1,804, that $1,804 were all made up modern. So the Mint would issue uh, documents signed by the Mint director, the curator. This is an official $1,804 made in 1804. Going back to Eric Newman and Ken Brissett and the book I mentioned for 1962, they unraveled all this about no 1804 dollars were actually made until 1834, then the Mint made more for collectors, and so there is an 1804 dollar, but it wasn't made in 1804, and uh, uh, it's famous because every collector wants, wa wanted one, uh, every important collector, there were only 15 known now. Uh, the 1804 dollar was called the King of American Coins by B. Max Mel when he offered one in a catalog because there was so much fame connected with it. Uh, the stories like, is it real, isn't it, did they ever make any, which, uh, which was finally settled by Newman and Brissett. So it became a story item. It became like, uh, uh, what's your opinion of the 1804? And the, it, it gained fame just like uh, uh, outlaws and bandits become famous, okay? Well, the 1804 dollar became famous because it was controversial. And today that fame endures, and I think everyone would agree that it has the right title of the king of American coins, uh, and uh, there are 15 known, and about uh, half of those are in private hands.